Hey, I know there's a lot of you who already know how to do the friction zone, but what we're going to talk about today and show you how to master the friction zone so you will never have to worry about dropping that bike again. Welcome to the channel. I'm Rich from Boots and Jeans Rider. We have Cake behind the camera. Say hi. Hi. And we're going to set up this course today. Well, just going to be some U-turns and show you how to master the friction zone. Everybody know what the friction zone is. And we're going to walk through it right quick for those who don't know what it is. And we're going to show you how to get it dialed in and master it. And talk about what police officers do. A secret you probably don't know. As soon as we set it up. Okay, we have the course set up well Karen's still setting up and basically what we're going to do is U-turns and show you how to master that slow riding and master that friction zone so this is 24 foot 24 feet okay now that we finished setting up we have it a 24 foot street here as you know the average size street is 24 straight foot and sometimes it go up to 30. So what we're going to talk about is not only the friction zone, but mastering the friction zone. Now, a lot of you know what the friction zone is, so we're not going to spend too much time on it. But for those of you who don't know, for the new people, we're going to talk about it a little bit. What is the friction zone? The friction zone is when you have your clutch all the way in, no power to the rear wheel, and you start letting it out, and the bike start moving forward. Right here, you're in the friction zone. You're not letting it all the way out because then you have full power to the rear wheel. Real, real, you out of the friction zone and what's the key to riding the friction zone that gray area a little throttle and a lid is covering that rear brake and it put pressure on the rear brake as you need to so I'm going to do a, a just a, a ride straight down here I'm just do a ride straight down here so you can see that I'm riding in the friction zone and my RPM should be somewhere around 1200 sometimes a thousand depending on the speed I'm going but somewhere around 10 miles an hour and below so here we go feet up I'm riding in the friction zone right now and that's the friction zone you can do this all day I can gas it bike not going anywhere so now I'm actually in the friction zone and that's all we're gonna cover right there when it comes to friction zone so now as promised we're gonna talk about mastering slow riding in the friction zone and then I'm going to talk about I'm going to talk about how police officers master it when they go to motor school now master the friction zone everything the same head and eye clutch control in the gray zone throttle control and a little bit of pressure on the rear brake so I'm gonna do a couple of u-turns there to show you can't you catch me actually putting that pressure on that rear brake and then I'm going to show you the secrets that police officers use so here we go right now you look where you're looking actually where I want to go I lift pressure on the brake look where I want to go lean the bike and turn you don't lean that bike it's going to be awfully hard to make these u turn so lift pressure on the rear brake look lean you don't want to go you want to you look want to be first that way your head is already back to the area where you want to go if you can do that now you be better if you do it all at the same time look lean and turn and you can do your 24 foot u-turns now the moment you all have been waiting for is how to master the friction zone what is the secret that the police officer use in their first week of motor schools what they tell you is no rear brake at all now the concept for civilians is kind of strange but this is what the police officers will do so when you practice it make sure you are in a controlled environment and you still friction zone and control it with the friction zone and throttle so I'm going to show you how to do that right now we're Kate going to get behind me and I will let her tell me when to turn and that way you will see I'm not using no rear brake at all. I'm going to make a U-turn here, start down from this end, 
and you can actually catch me doing it from that end. Here we go. Now, obviously, I could keep my feet on it and do my U-turn. But coming right here, okay, she's saying go. You turn, no brake. Now, I'm going to prove it to you that I am not just hitting the brakes and letting up off the brake as I'm doing a U turn. What I'm going to do is something I advo would not advocate in any other circumstance except for this demonstration. I'm going to put my foot out on the side right here, not touching the brake. If you can see my foot, oh, and go. One more time, foot is out on the side. Look at where I want to go and go get on that side so you can see take see my feet my foot not on that rear brake and making that turn looking where i want to go leaning the bike and turning same thing over here now i'm breaking a little bit now look where i want to go and turn matter of fact you'll see that your ride is getting a lot smoother without the brake because the smooth the brake sometimes can hamper what you're doing especially if you put too much pressure on the brake now, if you're going fast, obviously, you're going, of course you want to hit your brake. And then you can still do it with very little pressure on the brake. And watch, I'm going to show you. This is not trick riding. I'm not on no drill team or anything like this. I just know the techniques. And another technique I will talk about later. Watch, foot is out. Going into my U-turn. Head and eyes where I want to go. Completing a circle. Foot out, completing a circle, controlling my speed with my throttle and that's one of the secrets that the police officers use now they don't take their foot off in school if you want to do this start it off wide see i got my 24 foot and then i'm starting off wide foot is hanging out go around cake bike and they come inside you start it off like that you'll see how smooth you are riding how smooth you get with this u-turns just by starting off a little while wide now i'm on the inside looking where i want to go Start my turn, about 30, 35 foot right here. Same thing again. About to do that 35, 30 foot turn. Probably about 35, 30. Yeah, I would say 30 because I'm coming on the inside. 30, and then you slow down and use your clutch and throttle for everything. And then when you know you got it down a little bit, go on and try it with the 24 foot you turn. And there we go. So we're going to kind of uh, talk about another one. One other secret to help you do slow riding is get as high as you can on the bike. Become one with the bike, and it just makes it much, much smoother. So that's all I have for right now. Those three things. Go on and try it. I would never advocate, as I said before, taking your foot off the, the pegs. But do not hit that rear brake. Do it a couple of times, and as you get fluent and fluent with it you will become super smooth with it to wear second nature in parking lots gas station sharp turns sharp u-turns all these things it becomes second nature and you will never have to worry about dropping your bike now that's mastering the friction zone we all know how to do it with the rear brake go down and try to do it without the rear brake and see how great your skills will become with mastering that friction zone that's all i have for now so if you like the video Go on, give us a thumbs up. Also, once you subscribe to the channel and ring that bell, that way YouTube will notify you when Rich and Cake, aka Boots and Jeans Riders, put up another video. Until then, ride long, ride hard, ride strong, and most importantly, ride safe. Rich and Cake from Boots and Jeans Riders. Now we out. Peace.